greetings now we will go through the algebraic expressions chapter uh, before going through it i will show you some general information it should be helpful for you see when we write 3 into x into x you can also write 3 this bracket x equal to 3x all are same all are have the same meaning then uh, 2 into this bracket x plus y uh, when you multiply first you have to multiply 2 into x that is 2x 2 into x is 2x then again and the next time you have to multiply this 2 into y okay 2 into y 2y so this common bracket means here multiplication 2x 2y same way x square y uh, that is common 1 plus 2 plus 3x inside means first you multiply 1 with x square y so we will write 1x square y as x square y 2 into x square y so here 2x square y ok 2 into x square y 3x into x square y x square y into 3x so 1 into x square y x square y 2 into x square y 2x square y 3x so here one more x is there so now already x square is there now it will become x cube so y only one y is there. so 3x cube y this term ok now uh, after you can add these two are like terms x square y is here also here also x square y so 2x square y and 1x square y 3x square y and this two you have to just 3x cube y similarly if x y plus x square plus x a you can simplify taking out the common factor which is the x if you take out x, first y is remaining plus here x is taken out, so z square is remaining so here x is taken, a is remaining, so all are same this is uh, x is the common factor ok now when you write minus x this is same as minus 1x so the all are same same a minus 1xy is same as minus xy all are same same way xy is can be written as 1xy ok 1xy xy all are same y 1y all are same so the numerical coefficient this is 1 here 1 and minus 1 uh, normally is not written with the in the terms ok so here 1xy means we will write uh, minus xy and similarly minus 1x means minus x we write uh, when you say equilateral triangle of side L all the sides are equal then the perimeter is you have to simply add L plus L plus L that is 3L same way for square all sides are equal four sides this perimeter will be L plus L plus L plus L 4L the pentagon have five sides this side L means L plus L plus L is 5L ok so now here in the algebraic expression a variable can take various values so this value is not a fixed one but for the constant it is a fixed value example of constant is 400 minus 70 we combine this variable and constant to form algebraic expressions ok here uh, we are forming x square using x into x x multiply x is x square for x cube uh, x into x into x this is x cube 2y square 2 into y into y ok there are two y square is there so two y is there two into y into y so that is a variable constant then there is a terms and factors ok uh, the parts of the expression which are formed separately first and then added are known as terms ok i will show you the example of the term so when you create a term for example in this uh, 
four x square minus three x y. We have to include this uh, negative also, negative sign also in the term. So here they have mentioned what the minus sign is included in the term. In the expression four x square minus three x y, we took the terms as c. We are including this sign also minus three x y. And not as three x y. We are not writing three x y minus three x y. So you have to take care of sign also. That is why we do not need to say that the terms are added or subtracted to form the expression. Just added is enough because there sign also is there in that. So in this four x square, four x and x are the factors of the term four x square. Term is the product of factors. Okay, four x x. These are the factors. Even the product of this factor is the term four x square. The term minus three x three x y is the product of the terms minus three. See here, minus three x y. They included negative sign also here. So you have to take up sign minus three and the x into y. They are the factors. And this is the tree diagram. Here, four x square minus three x y. These are the terms four x square and three x minus three x y. And these are the factors. Note that these factors are mentioned in the dotted line here. Dotted line, whereas terms are mentioned in the continuous line. So note that in this diagram. We use dotted lines for the factors and continuous lines for the terms. This is to avoid mixing them. So okay, this is uh, the representation. This is called a tree diagram. Okay. Here in this expression, phi x y is one term and ten is the other term. So constant is also a term. So here these are the factors. Coefficients. One of these factors may be numerical, and the other is other algebraical. May be numerical. It is important. Numerical may be there and may not be there in the factors. Okay. The numerical factor is said to be numerical coefficient or simply coefficient. See, this is important here when. The coefficient of the term plus one, the coefficient is plus one. It is usually omitted. As I said, x for x the coefficient of one means we write simply x. For example, one x is written as x. Okay, here one is omitted, and one x square y square is written as x square y square, and so on. Also, the coefficient of minus one also is indicated only by the minus sign. So thus, minus one into x is written as minus x, and minus one x square y square is written as minus x square y square, and so on. Thus, we say that the term phi x y phi is the coefficient of x y. So in the term phi x y, phi is the coefficient of x y. X y coefficient is phi, and x is the coefficient of phi y. See if you stay phi y, the its coefficient is x, and y is the coefficient of phi x. When you say phi x, what is the coefficient of phi x? Then y is the coefficient. Okay. In ten x y square, ten is the coefficient of x y square. X is the coefficient of ten y square, and y square is the coefficient of ten x. These are very important things. Identify the following expression uh, expression terms which are not constant. Okay, you have to omit the constant. Okay, this four is a constant, thirteen is a constant. Give the numerical coefficient. Okay, in the x y plus four, you have to omit the constant. The only term you have to write x y is the term. Numerical coefficient is one. One is not explicitly written here, so this numerical coefficient one only. Similarly, here term is minus y square and minus one is the numerical coefficient. So here term minus y and pi y square. We are omitting the constant. So minus one 
is the numeric coefficient year 5 is the numeric coefficient similarly year 4 is the numerical coefficient minus 3 is the numerical coefficient what are the coefficient of remember coefficient of x they are asking in the following expression similarly what are the coefficient of y they are asking in the following expression here coefficient of x is 4 coefficient of x is minus 1 coefficient of x is y square coefficient of x is minus 5 is it coefficient of x means we have to remove x and the remaining thing we have to write minus 5 is it similarly for coefficient of y you have to remove y here is minus 3 you have to take out y here then is it take out y is it square take out y m like and unlike terms when terms have the same algebraic factors they are like terms when the terms have different algebraic factors you have to see this important thing algebraic there is algebraic factors only when you say like and unlike terms you have to consider only the algebraic factors okay monomial binomial trinomial and polynomial Mm, an expression which contain two unlike this is important unlike terms is called binomial uh, for example here these two unlike terms these are two unlike terms these are these are the phylomial expression 10 pq is not a binomial because it is only one term is also monolomial expression this is not a binomial because it is a three terms okay this is a trinomial The expression x square x plus y plus phi x is not a binomial, although it has three terms. This is not a binomial because, uh, sorry, this is not a trinomial because these x and phi x are like terms. So you can simplify it further. So it will become y plus 6x. So that is a binomial, it's not a trinomial. In general, an expression with one or more terms is called polynomial. One or more terms, all are polynomials, okay. Thus, monomial, binomial, trinomial, all are polynomials, okay. We have to find the like and unlike terms here. See, this is the term 7x, this factor 7x, 12y. These factor algebraic factors are different here. Here x is a y, so different. So this is unlike these variables in the term are different. That is algebraic variables x and y they are different. So here uh, these algebraic factors are same x x. Forget about this numerical factor. Algebraic factors only. So they are same. That is why it is like term. Here also algebraic factors a b a b same like term. Here different algebraic factors are here x y is there, x is there, so unlike. Here x y y and x x y different unlike. So here p q, p q q, here also p q q, same, okay, these are like terms. So how do you find out like and unlike terms? Ignore the numerical coefficients, okay, concentrate only the algebraic part of the terms. Check the variables in the term, they must be same. Next, check the powers of the each variable and they must be same. Okay. You can uh, try out this uh, exercise yourself. Addition, subtraction of algebraic expression. The addition, subtraction is done only on the like terms. Okay. So here, since variables or numbers, we can use uh, distributive law for them. So here 3x plus 4x is 7x actually. We are taking out x as carbon between them. Then 3 plus 4, 7x, 7 into x, 7x. Take out the common factor. Similarly here, 8xy, 4xy, 2xy is xy is common in all the terms. Okay, so you are taking xy as common, then inside 8, after taking out xy, here 8 is there, here 4 is there, here 2 is there. So the 14xy. Okay, thus 
the sum of two or more like terms okay important here like terms is a like term with a numerical coefficient equal to the sum of the nequino coefficient of the all like terms similarly the difference between two like terms is a like term with a numerical coefficient equal to the difference between the numerical coefficient of the like terms here the important thing like terms note unlike terms cannot be added or subtracted okay important unlike terms cannot be added or subtracted they may like terms or order subtracted 3x and 7x are like terms because this algebraic factor x is common so also here uh, this 11 11 minus by 6 3x plus 10x okay 10x plus 6 we can subtract a minus b from this okay from this subtract a minus b from this so you have to write this first then minus a minus b when you multiply minus with a minus a minus with minus b then minus minus will become plus so here so this is minus 5 minus 3 minus into 5 minus 5 but minus into minus 3 will become plus see you have to collect the like terms and simplify the expression here you see this m square and this m square these two are like terms these m m m these are like terms and this is a constant okay 12 minus 4 that is 8 minus 9 plus 5 minus 4 then minus 7 minus 11 okay 8 minus 11 then 10 similarly here you have to group the like terms here i have put in different color these like terms okay these two like terms these two and these two then simplify see here you are writing the, the column same like term in the same column see a b column this is b this term column okay same like terms are written in the like terms are in the same column so you have to write then only your answer will be correct see like terms are in the same column finding the value of the expression see in this uh, x plus 4 we say let us say x equal to 1 then 1 plus 4 5 x equal to 2 plus 4 6 that's how you find see here they are saying x equal to 2 2 plus 4 is 6 so like that you can find see now in this expression now i am substituting n equal to minus 2 okay see 5 and square when you say it minus 2 square minus 2 square minus 2 into minus 2 will become plus okay minus 2 sorry minus 2 uh, this there is one more here okay n cube for this i am telling uh, okay uh, this is cube cube when you say minus 2 into minus 2 into minus 2 then it will become negative again. First minus 2 and minus 2 will become positive. Then one more minus 2 you are multiplying, then again it will become negative. So this is minus 8 and plus 8. Okay. They are separately computing these terms. Okay. For y and square. Mm, this is already they have computed 8. Okay. Then n cube is also 8. So minus 8 plus 8 is 0. You have to apply the formulas. Okay, I already to show you perimeter of equilateral triangle three sides, three L. Okay, L plus L plus L square four sides, L plus L plus L plus L four sides, pentagon five sides, and for area for the square side into side L square for the triangle uh, for the rectangle length into breadth. Okay, for the triangle. Uh, breadth into base into height divided by the of bh this is for the number patterns okay 
when you want to find a successor of a particular number let us say what is the successor of 10 then you can use this number pattern n plus 1 10 plus 1 is 11 that is the successor similarly for the odd number and the even number this is the number pattern 2n is the odd even number 2n plus 1 is the odd number let us say for 1 if you say n equal to 1 uh, uh, substitute 2 into 1 2 and n equal to 1 2 into 1 2 plus 1 that is 3 so for n equal to 1 2 is the uh, even number 3 is the odd number so here uh, this is the formula 3n plus 1 the number pattern when you substitute n equal to 1 3 into 1 this is 3 then plus 1 4 when you put n equal to 2, 3 into 2, 6, 6 plus 1, 7. So like that you have to compute for n equal to 3, n equal to 4. Similarly for this formula and this is the number pattern. n equal to 1, 2 into 1, 2 plus 1, 3. For n equal to 2, 2 into 2, 4 plus 1, 5. So similarly you can substitute for the other values. Same way this is the number pattern for this, this is the number pattern for this okay so this is the number pattern for this okay so here the number of diagonals we can draw from one vertex of the polygon of n sides polygon of n sides is n minus 3 okay let us say polygon has four sides okay n minus 3 4 minus 3 that is only one diagonal for the 5 sides, 5 minus 3, 2 diagonals, okay, the number of diagonals we can draw from one vertex of the polygon of a side is n minus 3, okay, this is the number pattern formula, number for these three patterns, okay, you can go through this summary, you can try out the exercise yourself, then only you get familiarized with this chapter, okay.